Okay, after napping here for a little while, maybe three or four hours, uh, these tools seem to work pretty good, and these either I haven't used them or they failed miserably. Uh, I haven't used the little pins yet, or the uh, large bone pin, so I'll keep those for another day. I've got several broken ones. I got real close to making an Edwards, which was my goal earlier. And uh, this is all done with antler, antler and hammerstone. I got pretty close and it snapped at the last, last stage of thinning. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits for today. This, uh, this seemed to work pretty good. This little piece of antler. Just wrap some string around it to make it fit tight inside. It seems to work well when the, uh, the percussion tool is curved and you hit the top part of it, which causes the tip to go into compression. That seems to be the best uh, best option. It's easier to. Um, use something like this and hit it and hit from the side like this but it, it often breaks off so I'm finding that even the really really curved ones work pretty well you just hit those on the top and it puts the point in compression and it removes flakes rather easily without doing too much damage to the tip I am do using uh, the longer, the longer-ish antlers, and uh, for for pressure, I'm going to uh, I'm needing to have to uh, sharpen these quite often. But these are the hardest antler I can get. These are whitetail antler. I, uh, I've been using the moose. This is pretty tough. Very effective for indirect. Been using mostly this one. It has less mass, so when I strike it, there's more power that goes into the strike. This one, I noticed right away as I was hitting this, I wasn't removing very big flakes with this one. So I, I might not use this one at all in the future, except for maybe a mallet. I like the fact that these are thin. So when I'm striking, it stays clear of the work. But it still has a pretty good amount of mass. This one seems to work pretty well. But again, I'm having to sharpen it quite a bit. I think that's it.